Hello, everybody. So I did not end up vlogging yesterday. Yesterday was Natalie's appointment and I just decided we were, I didn't know how the day was gonna go. We didn't know if we were going home. Um, we ended up staying another night. The only flight out of there was at 11 o'clock at night last night and I was like, you know, it's just gonna be too crazy. We didn't have a hotel, so we were kind of like in limbo. Um, and so anyways, we ended up staying. We are heading to the airport here in a little bit, but before we go, it is actually my sister-in-law's birthday today. And when this goes out, it'll have already happened, so I can say, but they are throwing a surprise party for her. Our original flight wasn't supposed to get back until nine o'clock tonight, and we changed it to um, this afternoon, so we get home a little bit earlier. So, since we're here, Jessica is a sugar fanatic. She loves sugar, okay? Anything anything with sugar, basically, she loves. And so we're here at Crumble Cookie. I will update also on Natalie at the end of this vlog, probably. But for now, we're gonna go get Jessica some crumble cookie and probably my sister some crumble cookie. And then I think we're gonna head to Krispy Kreme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's like a tradition for our family is to pick up Krispy Kreme when we leave Anchorage. So we're going to be, wow, we're going to have some serious bags because we have to carry those. Our bag may be overweight too. <laughs> Boo Boo and Bath and Body Works. That's, that's... Yeah. Someone convinced me to go to Bath and Body Works mm -hmm. for a second time <laughs> yesterday. They had a sale on hand sanitizer. So, you know, I bought 17 of them. Oh my gosh. So... I bought so many hand sanitizers. She's like, I can get it for this person and this person. And so it was really sweet. She's very thoughtful. Anyways, um, heading home today, leaving the mountains. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I'm so thankful we can see the mountains today. This just does no justice to how big these mountains look. I guess if you live by mountains you understand but also this bush looks like fire. It's so cool. <laughs> All right, crumble cookie it is. through with all this. <laughs> Oh, just the Fairbanks pack, <laughs> crumble cookie and Krispy Kreme. the iconic moose. <laughs> the rest of the night. Um, I will say that I'm sure my brother and sister-in-law will have a video up on the whole night, so go watch their video. But I didn't pick up my camera again. It was a fantastic night. I was so excited that we got to be there. 
because up until like the day before I didn't know if I was gonna be able to make it or not and so it was a wonderful night just a beautiful way to celebrate Jessica I do kind of feel bad that I didn't vlog the day of her appointment because it was a really a kind of fun day but honestly just very heavy for me and so I just I just couldn't pick up the camera I wanted to just spend time with Natalie I know you guys fully understand that I just I wanted to, I had time with Natalie alone and I wanted to just hang out with her and that's what we did we kind of went wherever she wanted to go so let me just like walk you through I have some pictures I'll throw in here we went to the mall and she really wanted to go to Sephora I wanted to go to Bath and Body Works oh my gosh there's a candle there that I'm like already dreading when it's burnt out because I got a tiny one it's like caramel cinnamon swirl i don't know what it was the one i got but it was so good it smells like the butterscotch one but not so strong um and it has like a cinnamon hint it doesn't really smell like christmas but it's it smells so fantastic anyways we did some shopping and then um, we went to her appointment <sighs> then i had to find a hotel so we sat in the parking lot and um, I found the Crown Plaza. It's one I've been to before. I felt good about their pool was open. So she got to go in the pool and we ended up just door dashing dinner in instead of, we were gonna go to Texas Roadhouse because that is like my go-to, but I was so, I was just so like overstimulated. I didn't, I just, I was like, do you want to go to Texas Roadhouse? And she's like, I'd rather probably just go to the hotel. And I was like, okay, let's just go. <laughs> she's like, yeah, it sounds so much better to just door dash. So that's what we ended up doing. We ended up door dashing out back um, because I wanted the blooming onions so bad. <laughs> it's so good. So that was our day. And then that is where this video starts our out at is the next day. Um, we ended up ordering Denny's. We used to have a Denny's and I know it's nothing crazy, Kay. It was never anything that great, but it was almost, it was just like tradition for us. We would always do, uh, the, it was like Tuesday nights, kids ate free or something. And so I think we got two kids free out of the four. I don't know what it was, but it was just like a fun thing for us to go do. And so it's like a one of those like core memories for Natalie. So we ended up door dashing some breakfast to the hotel and um, just spent the morning that we left just chilling and relaxing and it was really nice. But the update on Natalie is that a, a lot of you had kind of just seen it from the results, but she has gastroparesis which is where her body's not processing food properly. One really good thing is that the doctor thinks that she got it from like some type of virus. So she had a virus and then this is happening because of that. And he doesn't think that it will be chronic. Now there's always, um, there always, there's always a chance of it being chronic and it could be an issue which I'm a little nervous about because he was like, it doesn't normally last that long. Um, and now it's been two months. So makes me a little bit nervous, but we're gonna, we're think, gonna think positively. He put her on a regimen of medications to kind of help. Um, that's honestly a kind of a lot, but it's all right. So, <laughs> uh, it's been one of those things where like they throw medication at it to try to treat the symptoms. And that's all we can do with gastroparesis is just treat the symptoms. So there's nothing really we can do other than that. But it's been a lot of that. And so she was kind of like, ugh, she was really bummed that it was just trying more medication. Anyways, we came home and she did okay. She made it to the birthday party um, and then the next day she was kind of not doing super great. We had a birthday party for somebody else the next day and she had to sit in the car the whole time and I felt awful. And then that night she ended up getting excruciating stomach pains to where she was like curled over, could not move. I was really like, oh my gosh, are we? maybe we need to go to the emergency room. I was really thinking it was probably just the gastroparesis, but like, she was just so miserable. Um, luckily, we got it calmed down. I put the heating pad on her and she was okay. 
Um, she was able to get a little bit of sleep, but not super great. Nighttime's always been really rough for her. She woke up, she got dressed, and then it just like hit her. It was like a, it was, it was just like a wall and she was curled over again in stomach pains. That morning at 8 a.m., I called the GI doctor and let him know what was going on. I was like, I just need to know if this is like a side effect or like if I need to bring her in, like what, I just need some guidance from you guys. Because when we took her to the ER here, they were just kind of like, stay with your doctor, we don't know what to do. And so I didn't really want to take her to the ER and then just like send us home. Anyways, it was quite stressful, I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was a lot. After calling the doctors, um, I left a message and the doctor's nurse ended up calling me back and saying that they thought it was um, intestinal muscle spasms, I think is what he said. So he prescribed another medication and uh, again, Natalie was very not super happy about that, but it did such a good job. She has not had those pains since and whatever regimen we have her on right now, is like the sweet spot. She is still nauseous off and on, but nowhere near what she was. Um, I'm, I'm just very grateful. I'm grateful for good days. She is at my mom's tonight, and the fact that she is good enough to go to my mom's and help is like huge, huge. Anyways. There's the update on that. It's kind of one of those things that we're going to have to just kind of treat the symptoms. She does have another appointment, but it's telemed, so we don't have to fly to Anchorage this time. We didn't do telemed to begin with because they don't like doing telemed for the first appointment. They like to see you in person for the initial. Anyways, this one can be telemed and we can meet with him and kind of like update him. At that point, he said if she's not doing better, which I think she's doing better, um, so I don't think it's gonna need to happen, but he may have to do a scope. So we may be back down to Anchorage. Uh, I don't know what this time of year, it's like, it, it, it's the month that people just get sick. I don't know if it's like kids go back to school and they just get sick over and over and that's what's causing it, I don't know. But this is the time of year that I've had to go to Anchorage for some stuff. This is the exact time of year that Landon went um, when he had his stuff going on. It was, it all just like bombs throughout the next couple months. Um, so it's really strange. I'm all like almost always down there for my friend Sherry's birthday, which is so weird. I don't know how many birthdays I've been down there for. I missed it by one day and they were in Seattle, so I didn't get to see them. But I, it's just very weird how I'm like always there around her birthday. I don't know. This is getting really, really long. Um, that's the update on her. I'm, I'm just ready for her to be feeling herself um and better and <sighs> we'll get started on what we need to do for the homeschooling portion and um hopefully get her back in school in a few months but it's all gonna depend on how she's doing thank you guys for coming along on this little <sighs> adventure is not even the right word <laughs> chaos i don't know <laughs> all right hit that like hit that subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye